Here we're looking into the inner bearing of the knee. There's the lower end of the femur directly in front of us. You can see that the surface is nowhere near smooth. In the centre of the joint, there's the anterior cruciate ligament, which looks quite normal. The bearing surface on the lower end of the femur is quite loose. As you can see, it's coming off there, virtually at full thickness. I'm using an electric shaver to go around the area of damage, removing the loose material from the edges. We then use this instrument called a diathermy to seal the articular surface. The object of the exercise is to stabilise it so that the amount of debris which is shed into the knee is greatly reduced. That's the back part of the medial meniscus. It doesn't look quite normal, it's slumping forwards because it's uh, torn internally. I'm just going along the edge of it with a pair of scissors trimming away the leading edge. And there's the inner bearing of the knee after it's been sealed. Here's the back of the patella, which you can see is extremely loose. There are large flaps that are hanging down. And when the knee is working, this produces a crunching sensation. The fat pad over to the left is inflamed, and the patella groove is also very loose with large overhanging flaps. Here I'm using the electric shaver to trim away all that loose material. <clears throat> There's no way that it can heal back into place. And removing it at this stage will reduce the amount of debris shed into the joint over the next few months. There I'm working on the patella groove, removing the overhanging flaps from around the area of damage. There's been a lot of loss of articular surface here on the patella groove and in places it's almost down to bone. Obviously, now that I've removed all this tissue, the profile or shape of the patella is not the same as it was before it was damaged. It's important to rest these surfaces over the next few weeks to allow them to recover before gently increasing the loading. You can see quite clearly there the tide mark between the damaged tissue and the normal tissue below. And there's the patella going in and out of the groove. This damage is all along the inner side of the uh, patella mechanism. There's the um, outer bearing of the knee. The top of the tibia in the lower part of the picture is damaged, so is the lower end of the femur. I'm using the shaver just to trim back the damaged tissue. This is surface damage, but in the centre there it's virtually down to bone. Now I'm sealing the surface with the diathermy. So there is quite significant damage here in the outer bearing of the knee. And that brings us to the end of the video.